Did you know that your phone has enabled default settings which allow every app and website on your phone to access your phone number? And this is not good because not every app or website is honest. Your phone number can end up in the database of scammers or advertising firm, leading to calls from people who want to sell you something or deceive you. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn off such settings on your phone. These settings exist on every phone with Android. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's dive in. So head to main settings on your phone. After this scroll down to Google and tap on that. Here tap on all services. Scroll down to section autofill as password. And here tap on phone number sharing. This feature phone number sharing allows Google to share your phone number with all third-party apps when they request it. And as I mentioned, not every app is honest, so I recommend turning off the switch next to phone number sharing. And now let's turn off the settings that gives websites access to our phone number. Head to Google Chrome. After this in the upper right hand corner of the screen tap on three dots. Scroll down little bit and tap settings. Here tap addresses and more. And here you can see feature save and fill addresses. This feature works such that if you enter your phone number on one website and then save it in the browser settings, then when you visit another website, that website may have access to your phone number. That's why I recommend turning off this feature. And the last setting that we need to change to keep our phone number safe is here. Head to main settings. Since these settings can be located in different places on different phones, we will use the search in settings to find them on every Android phones. Tap on search. After this type permission manager like this. And tap permission manager. Here tap on contacts. In the allowed section is a list of applications that have access to your contacts. That mean access to your phone number and the phone numbers of your friends saved in your contacts. So I recommend leaving only the apps that really need access to your contacts on this list. For instance, does gallery need access to my contacts? I think no, because when I use gallery I don't use contacts. So tap gallery and tap don't allow. After this tap back to contacts. And decide in this way which application should have access to contacts and which should not. Don't worry if you take away permission from apps that actually need access. If an app need access to contacts for normal functionality, it will ask for permission again. Then you can grant the necessary permission. Then tap back to permission manager. And do the same for call logs, because call logs also give apps access to your phone number and your friends phone numbers. If this video helpful, like this video and thank you for watching.